Big day, big day, going downtown, get some filming done for all of you. And a very important question of the day coming right up. Once I get all the uh, shoes loaded up, oh man, I hope you're enjoying the uh, double publishing right now and just, oh, just getting caught up on all these running shoe reviews. It's fun, because I was getting, frankly, just a little, I don't know what to say. I don't want to say stressed out, but just like feeling a little bad that I couldn't get all these shoes done uh, because there's great shoes being released by all sorts of companies. So I'm, I'm trying to get on the ball. See what I mean? There they are. There they are. Oh, man. All right, super psych. Uh, we're gonna hold off on the question of the day until I explain a little bit. I just realized it wouldn't make sense to ask it right now. So we'll save it for later in the vlog. Hope you're doing well, everyone. I, I just saw a picture on the Facebook group, a gentleman in the UK, oh man, just showing like where he watches the vlog. You gotta go check it out. Uh, it, just is, it just gets me going. You have no idea. So thank you. I, I'll, I'll look your name up, but I, I forget your name right now, but you're amazing and we're doing it. And you better believe it, today's a great day snowstorm coming tomorrow so we're gonna use the sunshine while we got it all right onward and upward Oop, drive helps mm, here we go Joe, you're gonna be proud of me. I'm gonna order a tea and not a coffee. All right. Trying to cut back on caffeine. <laughs> it's, a, it's an early New Year's resolution. <laughs> Which one do you want? Green? Yeah, right? There it is. Trying to make good decisions, everybody. All right, we're strategizing for the future. Uh, this is the Google Doc with the, it's titled um, SJD Vlog Filming 2020 and it's time to start planning. Time to start thinking about plane tickets. And yes, uh, I cannot believe that I can even dream about traveling to locations around the world to do uh, group runs with all of you and to film races. So that is what we're doing. We're strategizing uh, for the future to provide hopefully better content for you in 2020, more inspiring content for you in 2020. So that's what we're up to. Right, Joe? Right. <laughs> right. So we're rocking it and uh, yes, delicious tea, delicious tea. Oh, and here we go. Okay, so the last clip that you saw was in the coffee shop uh, about six hours ago, the strategy ses session for uh, 2020. And now I'm gonna go get my double in. So I'm throughout this marathon block heading into Houston, I'm gonna be, I'm planning, seeing how the body does, but I'm planning on uh, doing double, so running twice a day, twice a week, okay? Uh, so that, it starts today, despite the snowstorm rolling in right now, so you better believe I'm gonna be doubling up my buff action as well. So that's what, that's what I'm up to. Let's rock and roll, get this in. Uh, so to, this morning's run was 10 miles, about seven minutes a mile, and uh, so about 420 per kilometer. And this afternoon, we're gonna do seven miles in the snow, and I have the ASICS glide ride on my feet. Okay, let's rock and roll. Come on now, we don't let the winter get you down. You've got this, we're gonna get through this together, at least if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, come on now. It's like, listen, I understand sometimes you gotta hop on that treadmill, but at the end of the day, there's nothing quite like fresh air and catching a little powder out on your run, I, in my humble opinion. All right, here we go. Let's go get some food, food. Oh, true love, I'm coming for you. 
Uh, <laughs> everyone! The welcoming committee. Welcoming committee! Yeah! 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 <laughs> Winning! Winning! Cheers. There it is. Oh, oh, yep, there we go. Boom! Cheers, YouTube family. Oh, it was a big long day. You know what? Let's fire that fire up. Let's rock and roll, everybody. Let's rock and roll. Hope you had a great day, a great run. Hopefully your weather was okay. It's definitely getting crazy outside. Snowstorm is rolling. We're supposed to get about 10 inches or more, which is quite a bit for Denver. Usually that's, that's a big storm for us. So, all right, first run of the day, 10 miles in the Beacon V1. I prefer the Beacon 1 upper over the Beacon 2 upper. Just saying, I, it just feels a little more comfortable and it, it fits my foot better. So here's the baby blue. If you've been watching the channel a long time, thank you, by the way, you know that the the baby blue was a, is a throwback shoe that I just, uh, I love. And I'm, I'm gonna keep running in it probably for a long, long time. Second run, 10 miles, or sorry, seven miles, eight minutes a mile in the Asics Glide Ride. Really enjoying this shoe. It is uh, firm though. And I think it's gonna open up a little bit when I, as I put more, my, I'm guessing after like 50 miles, the midsole should start to just be a little more nimble. And frankly, before I run in this, which I don't know when I'll run in it next, but I'm just gonna work the midsole a little bit. Usually just like with my hands, just kind of break it down a little bit because the midsole is a little, it's intense, but it feels, it, it's a heavy shoe but it's feeling poppy and uh, poppy, snappy and fast. So overall, I'm, I'm really enjoying it, but I do think like even just a little bit of flex like this, I'm gonna do um, just to help give the midsole a little bit of life. Um, okay, we have surpassed 49,000 subscribers. Thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. Um, it's like, oh my goodness. I can't even kind of comprehend that number, but what that means is we've got to do something to celebrate 50K. It's just been such a journey here for the last three years on YouTube. So I don't know what else to do, but to do a group run here in Colorado. I wish I could fly around the world to meet many of you. But what I'm thinking is we'll do a virtual run for people outside of Colorado. And how crazy would this be? And so what's going to happen is as soon as we hit 50K, which could happen in two or three days, it could happen in a week. It's gonna, it's gonna happen probably pretty quickly. Um, as soon as it happens, the following Saturday, we will plan, I will plan a group run. I'll let everybody know where at, what locate, uh, yeah, where at, what time, and how crazy would it be if some other runners met up in different locations around the world um, on the same day? So on a Saturday, I think is the best day, so maybe we hit 50K this week, maybe it's next week, maybe it's the following week, I don't know, but I think it's gonna be sooner rather than later. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's just um, humbling is the bottom line, just humbling. Okay, let's dive into the topic finally of, so you know how much I love racing and competing, but I think you're probably figuring out very quickly based on the footage from the world mountain running championships in Argentina that I also enjoy cheering and spectating. Roll it, baby! Oh, uh, Frenchie, I can see him. He's about, probably about 30 seconds. Hey, man, three in the top six. There you go. Nice and relaxed, nice and relaxed. You're doing great. You're doing great, buddy. You got this. Just hold that position, hold that position. It just great job, David. It's me going, everybody. It's just the spirit of competition gets me going, it's it's incredible. So cheering on those guys down there in the, on the long course was amazing. But um, what it means for 2020, and we're gonna get to the question of the day, it's an important one. Here is my hope, this is my hope for where I would like to travel to, to film races in 2020. Now this is not an extensive list. This is frankly, it's just four. And I would like to do more. And that's where the question of the day comes in, but here you go. So maybe you live in these locations, I don't know. And again, this is not a fully extensive list. For example, this past in 2019, I filmed the Dirty 30 50K here in Colorado. I filmed the Boulder Boulder 10K. I filmed uh, the Pikes Peak Marathon with Killian Jornet. And now the World Mountain Running Championships down in Argentina. Um, I just love filming races where I'm not necessarily 
racing. So here you go. The Olympic Trials 5K final on June 22nd in Eugene, Oregon. All right. So the University of Oregon is hosting the Olympic Trials for the United States June 22nd. So if you live in that area, there's a really good chance I will be there for the 5K final on June 22nd. And the reason why I'm thinking that is because, yes, hold on, how could I resist not going back and filming Western States again? I forgot, I filmed Western States this year as well, which, so I would go straight from Eugene south to California to, uh, where is it? I guess the Lake Tahoe area. Anyway, uh, Truckee, California area uh, to the Western States course on June 27th through the 28th for the Western States 100. All right, there's the... uh, there's the magazine from this past year. Moving on to the Hard Rock 100. Remember this last year, it was canceled because of too much snow. It takes place in Silverton, Colorado. It starts there and it's a 100 mile race, July 17th. All right, so if you live in the mountains, I'm coming for you. That's the game plan for Hard Rock. Now, oh boy, a big one, everybody, a big one. How could I not show up in Japan, in Japan for the Olympic marathon, not the 10K, not the 5K. I frankly don't know if I could afford tickets to those events. Maybe I could, but the Olympic marathon, come on, Kipchoge versus Bekele, Kipchoge versus Bekele. It's going to go down. I just, it's my gut feeling. It's going to happen there. Mono a mano, battle it out. Really, I would say for, I'm, I'm just going to say for marathon supremacy, because the fact that uh, Bekele was able to come within two seconds of the world record in Berlin this last year. I think he's, I, I, I think he's going to go for it. So uh, it's not going to be in Tokyo. It's going to be north of Tokyo, about 500 miles. So it's a cooler, I forget the name of the city. Bottom line, that happens on August 2nd. Question of the day, where should I go film a race in 2020? And think about... Yeah, there's a lot to take into consideration. Obviously, I would love to come to a lot of different locations, but what goes into my decision making is a little bit of the athletes competing, okay? So you got to think about that because it's it's a good storyline. Like, you know, Jim Walmsley breaking the course record, his own course record at Western States this past year. That was a great story to tell. Um, Bekele versus Kipchoge, great story to tell. So think about that um, as you're answering the question of the day because I frankly there's so many races around the world I don't even know about um so I need your help down in the comments that would be amazing that is it for tonight thank you for being here thanks for watching um how could I not toss it back on the right uh to the western states 100 this past year it's a great race um if you haven't seen it go check it out and then also we'll toss it back to Kipchoge's sub two hour vlog on the left you guys rock. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.